Well, welcome back to another episode of Zach the Fisherman. Today, we're gonna do something I haven't done in forever. It used to be my favorite thing to do. Kind of started this whole YouTube channel on this lake, catching greasy, greasy, greasy bon and burbot. I used to come here after work. I used to work till like five o'clock, drive an hour here, drop down, catch a bunch of burbot, go home. Never really kept them. I kept a few, but yeah. One of my most viewed videos on this channel is how to clean a burbot. I don't dare watch it because those were my oil field days and I have no idea what I said, but let's get inside our ice fishing shack. Let's tell you what we're using. Let's go hammer some burbot. We're gonna get a ton today. We are here, we are fishing. We got the mega live all set up. We have our dead stick, which is super simple. It's just a jig and a minnow, or it's a jig and some shrimp. I've made some custom shrimp, which is greasy. Um, I boiled the heck out of it a couple weeks ago. I put some anise scent in it that glows and I threw it in the box of my truck for about a month with the meltage, with the not meltage. It is so greasy and pungent, but the greasier it is, you got to think we're catching greasy burbot, bottom feeding fish. The greasier the bait, the greasier the fish. So, and I have this on a medium light rod. It's the Frostbite Smoke Show. It's a great rod. I'm not gonna lie, oh, we got a fish on there. He's looking at the bait. He's looking at the bait. He's looking at it, he's looking at it. Is he gonna eat it? Might eat it. Better put it right in the sand. Yeah, and then over here, I have a rattle bait. I know what you're thinking. A rattle bait for burbot? Yes, I have a little, I've tipped it with a little piece of shrimp as well. But these are uh, bite right rattle baits. They are absolutely amazing. Um, when you're jigging them in the water, they they fall face down. So when you're, especially for these burbot, because what you're doing is pounding sand. And those burbot see that and they get aggressive. They're like, hey, don't eat my eggs because they're spawning at this time of year. And then we can just hammer on them. So let's get that bait down there. And let's watch the fish literally get called in with this thing. It is incredible. Boom, on the bottom. There we go, we got a fish on the bottom there. All you're doing is pounding bottom as much as possible. I got to peg that corner down. Oh, there's a burbot. Tent's gonna fly away. Called him in. I gotta peg that corner down. I gotta go peg that corner down. One moment. Temporary break. Okay. There we go. Oh, we got a fish on the rattle bait. Oh, he swam away. Standing up for the rattle bait. Come on. That's a nice fish too. It's a decent burbot. These fish sit right at the bottom of the lake. I got a fish coming in. Pound the bottom, pound the bottom, pound the bottom. Pick it up, man. Ooh, ripped it out of his mouth. Watch the dead stick. Yeah, they're all over that. They're all over that. They're going towards the dead stick. Let's see what they'll do with that. There we go, on the dead stick. There we go. Nope, he just took a, he just took a bite at it. I'm away from it. There we go. Come on. Come on. Eat it. Eat it. Got him. Oh. 
Come on. Hit it one more time, man. Come on. Come on, you know you want it. Okay, man. You're just toying with me now, hey? Oh, there we go. Ugh. Missed him on the dead stick. There we go. There we go. Fish on. There we go. Just a little barbit on the rattle bait, but we got the first fish and these guys are spawning. Look at that. The rattle bait, barbit. Took a little convincing, but we got ourselves our first little burbot of the trip. Not a bad fish. Greasy, greasy, greasy guys. It's crazy how many different names that they go by. Oh, we got a fish coming in already. People call them lawyers, Mariah, Lingcod, a um, bunch of things. Hopefully we can get into some bigger fish. That guy was just a start, hey? It's nice when you can get them up off the bottom. A lot of times when you're burbot fishing, you can just, if you don't have sonars like this, you can just pound the bottom as hard as possible. Before I had any fish finders, that's all I did. And I was coming home with 100 fish nights. Doesn't mean to say you don't need this technology to catch fish. It's just cool to look at. See if any other colors get them going. There we go, there's a burbot. Straight for the dead stick. Picked it up and dropped it. Okay. Not gonna miss this one. It literally switched the color and they kind of got fired up a little bit, so that's exciting. They, they, they keep giving it like a little taste. They're not fully committing to the dead stick, which is interesting. There we go, he's up for it, he's up for it. He's gonna munch, he's gonna munch. Come on, come on, come on, buddy. You committed that far and then you just opted out of it. Check that bait, cause it's been hit a few times. This boiled shrimp stays on very well though. There we go, I got this guy. This guy's gonna come up. He just barely tapped her. He tapped it though, but he doesn't, he just put his face up on it. There's a fish on there. What the heck? You guys saw that, right? There we go. Feels like not a bad, oh, I think I lost him. Oh no, I didn't. Oh yes, I did. Okay, that's unfortunate. I gotta s tighten this drag up a little bit. It's peel and drag when I set it, so it's not so great. Got one, there we go. The pounding bottom. And he came up and smashed it. Just another little guy. <laughs> oh, there he goes. I touched the leader, I swear. Just a little guy. I switched up the colors too. I switched up to this, uh, still a bite right lure, but it's just a different coloration. It is the, uh, call that a blue silver. One of my favorite colors up in that uh, Lakeland, Alberta Lakeland region. It's great up there. Sometimes you won't be catching anything and all else fails. That's what works. I didn't even see that guy on the screen. I just felt him bite, just bang in the sand. Got one right off the bottom. Didn't even see him on the screen. He's tiny though. I might've snagged him too. Yeah, look at that little guy. Just a baby. Going for that big bait. Come on. These fish, these fish are aggressive. Like that bait's the size of his head. They're such a pretty fish. Look at that, it's a greasy baby burbot. Gross. 
They're so slimy. They are so absolutely slimy. They are aggressive. Oh. I believe something is munching. Something was munching. I didn't. Hopefully it's not one of those babies. Cause that baby definitely could not eat that big hook. He could take one of these troubles, but not that big monstrous thing. Oh, 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 come on. You know you want it. Yeah. Gonna hit it, hit it, hit it. Where are you going for that now? Or do you want me to smash the bottom here? And then you're gonna come and eat it. I think what I'm gonna do is I think I'm gonna downsize jigging setup because I do have quite the big hook and the fish that we have been catching are pretty small. You can always catch a big fish on a small hook. I think I'm gonna go do that. And maybe go and try my find myself something to sit on. My legs are getting a little sore. I think I'm gonna go with this watermelon color right here. Uh, just because we've had good luck on the watermelon, the pink is doing a really good thing and it glows. A glow jig for burbot fishing is important. But I do believe only the green glows, but that's no big deal. Oh yeah, the, per the, the pink glows too. But something just a little bit smaller and this jig's gonna sit a little bit differently. So maybe something else will come and eat it. And there's something will come and eat it. Oh, we got a fish on the rattle bait. Is he gonna eat it without moving it? He is. Oh, what's going on? What's going on? Uh, real stuck. I'm gonna just bring him up by hand. <sighs> Not bad. Not bad. <laughs> What a show. So that just goes to show you that the burbot will eat literally something that's not even moving. Dead stick in the rattle bait. There we go. And that right there is not a bad burbot. Let's get him back into the hole. Woo. He'll find his way. Yeah. Oh, this got wrapped around the tip. I was like, whoa, why can't I reel? It's just, I set the hook a little bit too hard. It's one way to catch fish. We have the fire tiger on now. I've caught a fish on every single color of these bite, right? Rattle baits. They do have some discontinued colors, but uh, I've caught a fish on every single one that you can buy. So if you do want to check them out in the checkout, make sure to put ZTF 10, Zach the Fisherman 10. And uh, that helps me out a lot. These rattle baits are great. I really liked the action of it. I really liked how it was like nose first into the sand, mimicking a feeding fish. I don't want to lick this to tie it. Uh, throwing the bait on was probably a bad idea. Have we even caught a fish on the dead stick yet? I don't think we have. I think I've missed a lot of fish on the dead stick. Oh, we have a fish going for the dead stick. I believe in you. Ooh, come on, buddy guy. Yeah, you're gonna come smack it, aren't ya? Yeah. There we go. Nice. I know it wasn't like quite called a dead stick, but Nice. Not too bad. Not bad at all. Another greasy, greasy burbot. We're kind of smacking them. I mean, I've caught like five fish. It's nothing to write home about, but we've been here for about an hour. So we haven't caught any toads. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let's send them back. But we're working on it. We're gonna, we'll catch a few. 
catch a few more fish. I'm sure we'll catch some big ones. I hope I can get up, catch something then in that high 20s. They're in here. You just gotta fish through them, you know? Because I didn't see that guy bite. I seen fish moving on the bottom. Got one. That was a dramatic hook set, but we got one on the rattle bait now. <laughs> We're rocking both jigs. Oh. Oh, come here. Come here. Come on. Ah. There we go. Greasy fish on the right bite rattle bait. Check it out. Woo. Turn around. There you go. I'm liking this. I'm liking this. I might just need to like operate both rods at once. It's a little difficult, but I mean, I started doing that and I hammered one over here. I hammered one over here. Okay. Burbot are so fun to catch. Not really fun to handle though. Okay, put the dead stuff back down. Until we start seeing some fish moving around. I'm gonna be smelly tonight. We got a fish. We got a fish. We got a fish. We got few fish. That's a nice one. That's a nice burbot. That's a nicer one. That's a bigger one. That's a bigger one. Unless I hooked him funny. But there's some actual weight behind this guy. He's actually pulling drag. Oh, okay. Okay. I can't believe that. This is a big fish. This is a nice fish. A nice fish. I don't know, I can't see him through the ice yet, but he's like coming up the hole. Oh, that's why he's I didn't. Uh, there we go. Uh, yeah, hooked them in the belly. Look at that long, skinny burbot. I, I should get the measuring tape out. I want to measure this guy. Let's go check it out. Might as well. Do I want to keep any? I don't know. I don't, I'm not a big fan of cleaning burbot. That's a thing. I can't really keep this guy anyway. I snagged him, but let's see just how long he is. Come on. 23 inches, that's not terrible. If I hadn't, oh, if I hadn't snagged that fish and it was actually fighting like that, oh, that would have been cool. Would have been a fun fish to catch, but uh, you know, I caught him in the belly. It was not nearly as big as I thought he was. Got the blood flowing though, got me excited. The best burbot bait you'll ever have is stuff that you forget in the box of your truck for like a month. And let it freeze and thaw and freeze and thaw. Oh, we got a fish coming up on the screen. Maybe. That was cool. Follow my Instagram. You might be able to uh, see some behind the scenes stuff. See fish that I catch before I post it on YouTube. Got him, got him. That feels like a nice fish. That feels like a nicer fish. Check it out on you Instagram. That feels like a nicer fish. Feels like that one that I snagged. But I definitely cook, hooked this one in the mouth. Or maybe I'm just losing my edge. I don't know. I don't know. Is that a nice burbot? I don't think that's like a 30 inch burbot, but... 
<laughs> oh, burbot juice in the eyeball, man. Woo! Hee! Calm down. <laughs> was cool got him interested with the rattle bait finished him off with the dead stick that i jigged up a little bit let's get a quick measurement why not why not these guys are always the best to measure i think they're kind of getting into that post spawn calm down calm down okay calm down we'll say just over 23 so that's the best measurement I'm going to get out of that. There's a nice fish. There's another nice fish down there. I got to get down there quick. I got to get down there quick. I can't get tangled like I just did. What the heck? 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 Ah, my leg's cramping. Ah, everything's going wrong right now. Ah. My leg's cramping pretty bad. I got to, I got to get up. I gotta get up. Oh, I'm gonna catch this burbot. I'm gonna catch this burbot first. Come on. Get, I gotta, I gotta stretch my leg out. <laughs> Leg's been cramping that whole time. Okay. 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 Okay, we're good. I love when things get hectic. Then it calms down for a bit, then it gets a little hectic. Maybe I just get excited and then everything seems hectic. Should I throw a different color on? So these are all the colors that you can get in these Bite Right rattle baits. We got the watermelon. Oh, he's missing an eye. Fire Tiger. Blue sh blue shad we'll, we'll call him a blue shad yellow chartreuse and white i don't know what, i don't know what these colors are. i'll throw them up on the screen and then we have this purple and uh we have this purple and chartreuse color which is also awesome but i put a lot of feather trebles on these i don't know if you've noticed that but i'm a big feather treble guy i'm gonna go back to the watermelon color See what we can hammer out. Oh, look at that burbot. Look at that burbot on the screen. He's gone now. He's gone now. He's gone. I've never caught anything but burbot in this lake. Oh, there we go. Dead stick. Dead stick. Dead stick. Come and smack it there, man. That looks like a nice one. Little burbot, little burbot. Ow. Relax. There we go. Little, little, little guy. Ripping. I love burbot juice in my face. Stop. Hey, little guy. Whoa. I was kind of an insane hook set for that little guy. <laughs> But he got caught. There we go. Oh my gosh, I got doubles. I do not have doubles. I do not have doubles. I do not have doubles. I gotta open this bale. A hook here. I just decided to be silly and run into my other line. Not a bad burbot. Not a tank by any means, but look at that. What a weird fish. What a weird fish. Oh, you got some sharp teeth. Boop. That is a mess. <sighs> okay. Let's just retie. That is a disaster. Would have been cool to have a double header, but you know. 
I was probably more likely to get tangled in a big mess like I did. There we go. Nice work. Boom. Cool. I knew it was gonna happen somehow, but he's just a long skinny guy. He hit that on the drop. Come on, get out from, come on. Come on. Uh, do you guys think I've smacked him down yet? Or do you think we could do a little bit better? I feel like I've caught quite a few. I haven't really kept count. But it's been pretty consistent action throughout the day. 27 inch bourbon I'd be happy with. But, you know, beggars can't be choosers. I'll take my 23 inch burbot for now. It's only four inches bigger. 23, it's that much bigger. But that is significantly girthier. It's a girthier fish, 27 inch fish. It's a lot bigger than a... I'm gonna do something. I know this is crazy, but every single time I switch this bait out for a different color. It's like the fish see something new and they're like, ooh, what is that? And then they show up and they eat. But that guy's just chilling on the dead stick. He's just munching on it, I think. Here we go, fish on. Not a tank. Hopefully he doesn't get tangled. There we go. Another skinny burbot. I'm catching him. I think these fish are getting into post spawn. I have not seen any fish with eggs yet. They're all pretty long and skinny. But they're still pretty aggressive. They're hitting pretty aggressively. But I don't think that they... I think they're out of spawn in this lake. Which people might be like, Oh, you're fishing a fish in spawn. You know what? It's a burbot. Um, there's lots of them in this lake. Um, the rules say that I, it's okay that I fish for them. I can even keep them. I can keep 10 here if I want. I know places in southern Alberta, you're not allowed to do that. But here I am. There's no restrictions and there's a ton of fish so I don't see a problem with it ethically some people might have a problem with it but that's okay I don't have a problem with it it's not like I'm uh ooh 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 oh, oh, oh. nope 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 little premature story of my life um what was I saying I think it's perfectly fine um, unless they're a protected fish like if you're fishing for a sturgeon as they're swimming up the shore laying eggs and you're like um, what's it called you're snagging them or something like that that I could see having an ethical issue with but while you're just fishing for these guys like there's definitely not a population issue here they're a burbot they're not protected there's a lot of them um i don't see an issue just make sure you're not keeping those big breeding females like if i caught a 35 inch female burbot right now the thing would be going back to the bottom of the lake it wouldn't be getting kept ooh, 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 ooh. come in there come on come on come smash Oh, no? Come on. That GoPro's like right in the way. I think my fish finder died on me finally. 
do I dare use my truck battery? <laughs> Just wired it up to my truck. Do I have any tools for that though? To take my truck apart, to take my battery out. I think it's sitting at home right by the front door. That ratcheting tool. Because the fish finder's dead. It is 100% dead. It's gone. There's nothing left of it. Oh, there we go. But we're still catching fish without it. So, I mean, that fish hit hard. Feels decent. Oh, it is decent. Uh, no, never mind. I take it back. I take it back. I take it back. Dirty burbs. Dirty, dirty, dirty burbs. Can't really see the whole length of them, but there we go. Can we can we make them look huge? Let's push them up against the camera. Thumbnail right there. Ah, oh, yeah, there we go. A monster. A monster. Look at that. Cool. Let's get them back. Let's get them back. Let's go, buddy. Um, yeah, like maybe, oh, maybe I, oh, 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 maybe I just bumped something. It's not quite wired properly, so maybe I just touched something wrong. So light, so light, boom, here we go, I wonder if we're catching the same burbot, At, oh, he's peeing, he's peeing, I don't think that's pee, I think it's baby pee, monster, <laughs> smacking me in the face, okay, let's get him back, cool, did I lose some bait on the way down? Maybe. The bite has slowed right down though. That was like half an hour between that last fish and the fish before. It's not from lack of trying either. Oh, what is that guy doing? The way I found this spot is probably about 10 feet over there. It's 30 feet. Right here is 20, so we're right off a ledge. I'm sure it goes shallower that way, but we want to be on top of that ledge. I'm sure even if we pushed even further and went up closer to that 10 foot range, we would also have luck because all those fish seem to be coming over here. They go up on the ledge to feed, to spawn, to do all their things that they need to do. And then they go to the deeps, depths to hide. Um, that's why not very often you catch a burbot in the summer because they're not necessarily hanging out in these shallow waters. I'm not saying that it's impossible. I've caught a bourbon in the summer, but you're more likely to catch them in the winter or an extreme depth, extremely deep water in the summer slash spring slash whenever you look for the burbots. Get back into the burbot shack. They're here. They just need to turn and open their mouths. They need to stop leaving their mouths closed. They need to have a snack. It's so frustrating, man. <sighs> That's one thing about this live technology is it's frustrating when you can see a fish and you can see exactly what it's doing. You can see that it's like nose is touching your bait. And then it just decides to 
Swim away. Oh, oh, oh. Buddy's cruising in. Got him. Wow. That took too long. But, I mean, we have a fish at the very least. Get up here, get up here. Get up here. Oh, I'm not very good at this holding the burbot thing. I don't know if you guys have noticed, but they're kind of slippery. What a cold fish. I wonder why he's so cold. Look at that. Burbot Central. We actually are kind of doing a smackdown. No doubles though. But we got that on the dead stick. Yeah, that's the day. That's the burbot day and it's still light out. Zero nighttime burbot fishing. I accomplished this all during the day. This is probably the best burbot day I've had, I think. I don't know, who knows? I had fun. I haven't done burbot fishing in such a long time. And uh, if you guys wanna know how to clean one, I do have a video on that. I I don't know if it's good, I don't know if it's bad. It's got, it's got lots of views and lots of likes. So it might be good, it might be bad, I don't know. I haven't checked it out. It's probably gonna be right here. But if you uh, haven't already, please leave a like and uh, subscribe to the channel and comment something. I appreciate you. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.